Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. Just getting to the shop here. Alright, now for future builds, I do have this the Fastback Mustang. I also have a V8 El Camino. I have a Mayan M6, which I believe is supposed to be the Audi M6. And then we have the one that we're going to be working on today, which is the Pagani Hira. Now, I've already taken on the liberty of buying everything we're going to need to put this thing together. So, let's get started. First off, let's do the frame. 2750. Let's strip the body down. It's pretty rough shape. file. Rear bumper, I wonder, does it got a front bumper too? Yes it does. Perfect, look at that. Alright, now we're going to build the motor first. Now I've already done the tires and I've already done, and I've already assembled the shocks. So, let's get ready. B12 M158 is this car. So what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the motor and then lay the motor on the stand and then what we'll do is we'll go do the body, we'll put it all together, we'll, we'll take it all apart and then before I start reassembling everything what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the motor in the transmission, well, gearbox as the game calls it, and then once that happens, then we start assembling it. We do the pistons right now. So much easier to do it here than you know IRL. Sorry, I'm not posting videos every day like I was, but like I said in the last video, and I think the video before. We've got a new addition to the family. We've got a little one year old boxer, I believe it's a boxer pit bull mix. And he's been a little bit of a handful, you know, getting adjusted to the new surroundings and stuff. So, you know, I've been spending a bit of time working with him, getting him better. We got him from the Humane Society from where I live. You know, can't see a good dog suffer because people who think they know what they're doing with dogs don't know what they're doing. And they have dogs, they raise dogs, well, don't really raise them, but then the dog starts misbehaving and they don't know what to do with it at that point. So what they do is then they bring it to the Humane Society or they euthanize them. So, and I wasn't going to see this beautiful little puppy be euthanized. Uh, if you check out my Instagram, at Andrew Franklin, or my Facebook, Andrew Franklin, you'll see pictures of him if you so choose to right now on Facebook my picture that you would probably see is going to be a picture of him and my daughter but on my Instagram it's just in there and you'll see a bunch of other things too if you check it out so I hope you all had a, a good day now it's been a pretty peaceful quiet day here for me for the family it's been actually quite nice you know, within the first 24 hours of having this pooch, he had three accidents in the house. But since then, you know, we've had him for almost a week, I think. Uh, we got him... What day was it? I think it was the 4th we got him. No, wasn't that. I don't know, it was last week anyway when we got him. So I've been kind of slacking on the video aspect because I've been dealing with him, working with him, getting him so he's more or less housebroken and trained. And he's made quite progress. I have a few things I still got to work on with him jumping on the counter and stuff like that, but we'll manage it. That's the joys of getting in a not 
polite way of putting it, someone else's problems. But you know what? That's what life is. I'm going to do the cam shafts. There's two of them on this motor. And 12 spark plugs per side. I mean, that's a lot of plugs, man. Two per cylinder. This is a very, very expensive motor to build. Luckily, I have the funds to do it. But I'm not sure what other people say for the best way to start this game. But my opinion is do the story cars until you reach boat. Uh, well, first off, until you're able to buy the welder. And second off, until you reach about uh, upwards of about 30 grand, $35,000. Then go to the junkyard, look for a muscle car. They're the cheapest to buy, sometimes. And they are the cheapest to build. The first car, do all... Don't put no performance parts on it whatsoever. And you will realize that it's really not all that expensive. Like I said, you need about thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars to build one. I do not recommend buying one of these right when you're first starting the game because they are extremely expensive. You need upwards of seventy-five thousand to a hundred thousand dollars to build one of these cars from start to finish. One of these Paganis. They are not cheap by no means. Install the last bank of the plugs. Be nice if they actually went in a little bit faster. And go figure, eh? I was going to start doing videos of my vehicles out in the front yard, and all of a sudden we got hit with almost a foot of snow over the last uh, 24 hours. So that's been a real treat, real pleasure. But hey, that's what happens when you live where I live. Alright, install the other cam gear, put the timing chain on. Timing chain V12 M158. Then put on the sprocket. And it should bring up the timing cover A. Yeah, see. And timing cover B, you need two of these, one for each side. There's no difference on these ones. They're both the same. I don't understand how that works. If you look at the bolts, the bolt patterns are different, but yet they aim the same direction. Either roller A. Grady pump needs two pulleys. But hey, with a big motor like this, I guess you need the extra uh, room, room for the coolant to float, so. Alright, the belt, serpentine belt B, V12, and the belt tensioner. Ooh, I don't have that. Alright, look at that, we get to buy it. Oh, wrong spot. Alright, look at that, we get to buy it. There it is, right there. And I believe I also got to buy the uh, air filter cover, uh, the covers for the top. Ten bolts. Where's the twelve? Twelve bolts. Pardon me. And instead of doing individual coils, they have a coil pack on here, where it's got twelve individual coils, but they're all packed in on one on one bank, which is very nice. I already put the flywheel, pressure plate, clutch plate, and the release bearing on there. I'll do the other side now. And then I believe after this, it's a matter of going over the car, ripping all the old parts off, putting all new ones on. And we're going to go send the car in for paint. Now this is a different style fuel rail than the regular V12. Yeah, a little bit funkier. But hey, as long as it works right. 
Now, I don't believe I bought these. No, I did not. Let's see if we can get them real quick here. There they are, right there. Now, also with this motor, I recommend do not put in the super or the uh, intercoolers on yet because you still have to put oil in. And if you put the intercoolers on now, then when you put it in the car to put oil in, you got to take them all back off again. So that's why I just leave it like this. Get it in the cart, then I put oil in it, and then I put the inner coolers, and then the inner, inner cooler covers on it. I believe that's what's there. Yeah, inner cooler cover A and, A and B. Now, did I already? I'm pretty sure I already put the wheel. Yes, I did. Perfect. Uh, let's do the interior since we're here. Looking a little dirty on the seats. I already washed the car, and I did the. Uh, clean the interior, wash the car, and got it ready for disassembly and reassembly. And like I say, I don't, oops, I don't tear down the motors. I wonder if I can reach. What I do is I leave the motors whole, and I put them in my warehouse. Make so you know if I need parts for another car because I will be planning on doing some junk air builds where no store purchases at all, it'll only be parts from the junkyard. I've seen a few other people do it and kind of found it interesting. So, hopefully, everybody who watches this will feel the same way. Now the upper suspension arms are the same as the front, the bottom ones are different. Uh, the front uses suspen bottom suspension arm A, and the rear they use suspension arm B. So that's the only real difference, and you need rear drive axle B instead of the normal rear drive axle, if you're going to be doing one of these cars. And then the also to the rear wheel hub is rear wheel hub rear wheel hub B instead of the regular one and also two you will also need to purchase uh, this one right here instead of it being three four it's just a plain simple rear I rear knuckle axle axle cover I believe that's what it was it's had it up on the screen I can't even remember wow All right, we will remove this. Ah, oh, stuff low. The front. What I like to do before I put the motor in is I like to put like the radiator, the fuse box, get all that stuff taken care of. Where's my little marker? There it is. Get all that stuff taken care of before I put the motor in, it just makes it a little bit easier. Especially on small engine bays with big motors. Oh boy, oh boy. Sometimes you have a hard time doing the oil or putting brake fluid in, so that's why I do all that stuff before I actually put the motor in the car. Our link. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Won't go unnoticed. and all over the place here. <laughs> yeah, those ball joint nuts can sometimes be a little bit of a pain. Sometimes anyway.
Ooh, forgot these. The dust cap and the bearing. I also got to take out the bottom suspension arm. But the bottom suspension arm in the front of this thing is the same as every other car that has this style. Alright, I think we're basically ripped out. Yep. Alright, kind of low. Whoa. Hold on there. Lower it down, pull this motor. I can just go grab the other one off the rack since it's going to be going in shortly. Oh, I didn't turn the rack over. Oh well. Where the engine stand, I mean. This will be on probably the next build. And then the other ones will be thereafter. And I don't think I bought the rear exhaust for this car. Oh well, we'll buy it. Hope everyone's 2024 has been going better than what maybe possibly 2023 did. I know 2023 for a lot of people was a little bit harsh. So. Let's hope 2024 has been a better year. I know it certainly has been for me. Just by getting this little pup here sleeping on the couch beside me. Perfect. I'm gonna put the air filters in. It's kind of weird on how they go here, but I guess um, there's vents on the outside of the car that allow or pull in air, which tuck in. Put the power steering fluid reservoir in. The ABS pump. The module. Now is the coolant back here? No, it's in the front. And also too, this car also has different, uh, I didn't know which one to get, so. Alrighty, where are you? Right. Past it. I already had it. Should have known better. I do have a couple options here you could do. Oh yeah, put the performance ECU in. Heck yeah. Ooh, I did have one. Awesome. Alright, now there's a couple things you could do first. Like, for instance, what I like to do is put all the stuff in here I can put in. Even though I gotta come back up here anyway and put coolant in it. You can't do it without the motor in. But yeah, you pull the motor, the coolant jug doesn't empty. So, I don't know. Makes zero, zero sense to me. I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? See, watch. No water pump. See? Water pump V12 is missing from the car. But, but, you can take the motor without draining it. Alright, perfect. Now that's in. See what I mean? Is, I'll give you a demonstration of what I'm talking about. If you put this on, then you can't get to how to drain the oil. See how it's yellow and this is all red? That's what I mean, you gotta take this off to put oil in it. Now on the V12 150, or one, yeah, the V12 120, you, you need to take the intake, everything off to put oil on it. So when I build that motor, I don't even, I don't even bother putting the intake or nothing on until I put oil on it. Alright, now we can put the intercooler set on. Kind of zoom it in there slowly. Put, bam! Up. 
Perfect. Now we go to the front. Oh wait, I gotta put power steering fluid in here. It's weird too on how sometimes you can see the fuel, the pot, like the fluid level on this one, or sometimes it, it's turned and you can't see it. What I normally do is if I can't see it, I stop as soon as I'm able to start seeing fluid at the opening. And there is a full line on here, well, full and cold. But normally what I do is I would, yeah, you can see it right there. Normally I do is I just go up a little bit because it's got to run through the system anyway. So, all right, time to raise this. I don't know why I brought over the window tin. I can't do nothing with it until until I get windows in it, right? So. And I always try to put this in first. Oh, Some cars you can do it with from above. And other cars you have to do it from below. This one, by the sounds of it, you got to do it from below. I have to en enter the engine bay. And there's three different sets of exhaust. you got the Tempesta, just a plain old Hira. And then you got the Zonda down on the far left, the second row. Now this one isn't the Tempesta, it's just the regular one, maybe that's why. Ooh, nice and chromed out, oh yeah. I did put the turbo on both sides, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Sometimes, you know, I forget to do things like that, and I'll put the car again, and go, oh, why doesn't this work? Perfect. Looks all shiny new, as it should be. Do the upper arm first. I mean, people can choose whatever one they want. It doesn't bother me. It's your garage, your car, you do however way you want. I just have a certain way I do things on this game. Here in the shop here. And when also too the well anybody who's played this knows that you got the this plain old shock absorber and you got the rear. Well the rear you can obviously guess what it's for. Eee, let's get that back off. Ew. Now because this is an expensive car, let's put some expensive brakes on it, shall we? Well brake rotors anyway. Thought I bought them earlier. I'm like this, I must have been sadly mistaken. Alright, now the fancy wheels, the expensive wheels. Like I said, when you put your wheels together, do the front ones first and then the rear, or depending on which way you decide to start it. Like if you start working on the car from the front, then do the then assemble the rear wheels and balance them first, then do the fronts. Oh, and then it puts the wheels that you're looking for up front. So when you go to put it together, it's boom, everything's right there, ready to rock and roll. Alright. Put this fuel tank in. Oh, I already had one. The next one, I didn't need to buy this one. Oh, there it is. Ah! Must be for another one I'm planning on building. But those, but these fuel tanks, they work in a couple different vehicles, not just the Pagani's. Alright, put the wheel on here, then I move myself to the front. Perfect. The thing that doesn't take so long with this one is you don't need the oops, you don't need the cross member. This car doesn't have one. The upper and lower control arms in the front just attach right into the fiberglass or carbon fiber body. But you 
tie rods in down. All the outer. Lower lower control arm. I can put the sway bar length and the shock in. Ooh, it's going off together pretty good. So I was doing a little bit of prep work beforehand. Hopefully it doesn't take my hopefully it doesn't take me a full hour to put this thing together because that's my time limit on what I'm allowed to record. Any more than that, and I'm not sure it's gonna record or I'm gonna have to edit some stuff out. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do that, so. Uh, like I can trim, but I don't have very good option on how I can trim the video, so. And that's why you see a lot of stuff that I do when on my other ones, it's I'm buying this part, I'm buying that part, something back and forth, because I'm not able to edit those out, so. And if I do, then it, it will put it into a bunch of different videos. Or would it? I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm all new to this recording stuff, so. Hope I'm doing a good job, which I believe I am, I don't know. It's gonna take a minute to get views, I know that. Video's gotta get out. time for the last wheel. I'm forgetting my battery. Yep. Let's hop back over to this wheel. There. Now it should fire up. Yeah, let's check and see. I know what I forgot. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. We may have seen our magical cylinder that starts the car. Yay! Alright, let's try this one again, shall we? Okay, those turbos, those raw valves. It's good to me. Now we move it over to the paint shop. Now we start putting pieces on it. And the thing that's weird about this car is you have to put the rear bumper on first. If you don't, you can't put the rear clamshell on as they call it. Now what color do I want? Oh, ooh, you get off of there. Thank you. We'll worry about that later. Making our way around the car. Fixing pieces, attaching them on. What color am I going to do this? Watch the mirrors. or three weird looking mirrors. Hey, where'd you go? Get back here. I'm not finished with you yet. Perfect, that's because I don't have the plates on. Alright, what color am I going to choose? Eh. Eh. Nothing in my list. That looks, that looks alright, I guess. Now the deck was on this car, I believe all it is, is the, there's nothing really, okay, just the one decal, right there, that's it, that's all, so I don't even bother putting them on. Alright, now let's bring it over here to the test path, 
where we can align the wheels and we can also align the headlights as they look like they're a little bit out perfect all four in the green all right now we're going to do what is this the left headlight yep now we do the right one There we go. We look down there in the bottom left corner, it says aligned with the green check mark, and the headlights are all aligned. Alright, perfect. Now we're done it. This looks pretty, don't you? Awesome, look at that. Well, that took us hardly any time at all. So this is going to conclude our video after I do these uh, windows here. Awesome, look at that. Alright, let's see what the finished product is worth. $447. Now if I put the plates on it, it would probably be worth about well, 464-ish. Let's see what exactly. Oh, wait, wrong one. Wrong one. Gotta go over one. Since we're in Arizona, we'll grab Arizona plates. I didn't need two, I only needed one. The front one doesn't take it. The rear one does, though. Perfect. NK26BP. Awesome. 481. Whew, I was off by about 17,000. Hmm. Perfect. Alright. So like I said, in the next video we're going to be doing this one, or one of these ones out here. I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to be doing. That's the supercharged version. Hmm. Maybe we might, might do this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Looks like a, looks like a heap, don't it? This one doesn't look to be too, too bad. Yeah, both of these cars are supercharged editions. So this one, well, it's actually the drag version for the drag pack, drag uh, download content that comes with this. I have that. Don't these motors just look party? Look at that, eh? But, yeah. This is our Pagani, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wherever you are. I know where I am, it's about, uh, probably about 2.57 in the morning, so thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.